Hi! You have probably heard of and maybe even used the sklearn package. This lecture will be its 365 introduction. Scikit-learn, now better known as sklearn, is a machine learning package for Python. Its name arguably comes from SciPy Toolkit, meaning an addition on top of the popular package SciPy. In fact, sklearn is built on NumPy, SciPy, and Matplotlib. This last statement has two major implications. First, sklearn is very fast and efficient. And second, which applies to us, it often prefers working with arrays. So far, we've worked mainly with pandas data frames because of stats models. Now, however, even if we pre-process data in pandas, we may need to transform it into an ND array before feeding it to the algorithm. Don't worry, we will definitely explore how to do that at length. But for now, let's focus on some of the major advantages of sklearn. First, it boasts incredible documentation. Whatever doubts you may have about how it works, sklearn has it on its website, usually with example applications. This can be a great supplementary resource for you while you are learning to work with this package. Second, it's variety. In terms of machine learning, sklearn is definitely the leading package right now. Regression, classification, clustering, support vector machines, dimensionality reduction, everything is there. The only weak spot in its range is deep learning. TensorFlow, Keras, and PyTorch are much better alternatives in that case. Finally, sklearn is famously numerically stable. That's something which is hard to explain if you've never seen an error caused by numerical instability. The basic idea is that training an algorithm is about performing complicated mathematical operations in the background. When the numbers you are dealing with are too small or too big, your code may break. Not because of your programming skills, but because the library you are using has some minor inefficiencies which may turn into big problems. sklearn rarely has those, and the community actively contributes to the package whenever an issue arises. I believe that's enough praise. Soon, you will see for yourself. In the next lecture, we will explore our game plan. Thanks for watching.